We're going to do a demonstration in how you determine the age of a tree. The instrument that is used for that is referred to as an increment bore. You hear some people refer to it as an increment corer because it extracts a core from the tree. And these tools come in different lengths. Uh, if you're working in a stand that does not have large diameters, you could get by with using a smaller and shorter uh, increment bore. But it has several parts to it. We're going to take out the, the interior parts now, show you how it's assembled. This is the casing, which then becomes a handle. This is the bit, and you can see how the casing becomes a handle. It's inserted in the bit into the casing, and then it has a lock to lock it in place. And this is the extractor, so there are three pieces. So our age is determined at breast height. So that's where you want to take it. So we know how to take breast height. And I'm going to carefully uh, put the extractor in my pocket, hopefully carefully. Uh, you don't want to put it on the ground and step on it and bend it. You don't want to lose it. And I, there are foresters that do a lot of field work who will actually put a piece of orange or pink flagging on the extractor so that it's not lost. So you want to find a point on the tree, breast height, four and a half feet above the ground, and hold the tool so that it's perpendicular to the stem of the tree, and as close as you can to the center of the tree. The goal is to have the bit go through the center of the tree. Now, trees we've already mentioned tend not to be perfect circles, so you're, you're making a guess as to where you think that might be. And you hold the bit firmly so that the, it goes into the tree without, if you don't hold it firmly and you let it wobble, it ends up sort of mining a little cavity of the tree without the threads getting traction and pulling it in. So you want to put pressure against the core while keeping it perpendicular. And when the tree has got a, the bit's got, a, got good contact, you can quit putting pressure against it. And you turn it. And you want to make sure you've gone at least halfway through the tree, which is a bit of a guess, but what you can do is look at the tree at the tree at the core sideways, remembering the length of the core, and then you make a eh, it looks like we need to go a little bit further to get to the center of the tree. And I'll go maybe a little bit further to make sure for this demonstration that I've done that. A couple more turns and then I'm going to carefully insert into the bit, push it in as far as you, as much as you can until it's all the way in. You make, you can give it a tap with your hand and you want to back off a turn that with the extractor in place turning it back towards you a turn should break the end of the core off so that you can then extract the core from the tree. We have the core that we extracted from the tree where we were demonstrating how to take the core and uh, I was fortunate enough that I hit the center of the tree or the pith and you can see these, the lighter colored so-called spring wood and the darker colored summer wood. And for pines, you can't do this for all hardwoods, but you can for pines. You can count the rings 
as we'll say one two three four five six seven I'm going to say 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We get about 13 rings. Now we remember that the increment core was taken at four and a half feet above the ground. So there's some additional age that it took for the tree to get to the height where the pith is. So three years is probably pretty good on this site. So about 16 years is the age we get for the tree. A couple of things to point out is when the tree grew in a nice open clear cut when it started out, there was plenty of elbow room. The tree was not competing for resources. And you see that the tree rings are much wider here than they are further out. The, the rings are narrowing. So the tree's beginning to show the signs of competition. Something else that I'll point out is because I went pretty deep into the tree, you can see from the pith out in both directions to the bark. When you look at this side of the tree, you'll see right here what looks like different rings, but they're really close together and it, it takes some experience sometimes in getting used to uh, looking at these cores. But these are multiple rings that are probably represent the same year. This is all one year here. And these are represent uh, growth spurts during the summer month period. So they're sort of like false rings or extra rings, if you will. But you, you look and you'd say, that represents one year. And even though there are two, that's a second.